What up, it's your boy, The Incredible Man, and yes, I am back at it again, and I gotta ask you guys a question. Do you love magic, monsters, mystery, horror, the multiverse, time travel, and just overall, just an abundance of greatness? Let's talk about Lovecraft Country, man. Okay, man, I may be late to the party or not, but... I just recently found this show and I binge watched all nine episodes and I'm waiting on the 10th and that actually drops the 18th of this month and I can't wait for the finale of this show because the show is freaking fantastic. I love this show, man. This it it wasn't on my radar. I didn't honestly I didn't hear anything about it, but I just happened to find it and I love it. It has pretty much everything that that you would love. In a show, man, you like science fiction, horror, supernatural, monsters, magic, time travel, the multiverse. Just so you can't go wrong when you can just combine a bunch of that stuff together and just make something. And that's what this is. And 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 it takes it and just makes it wonderful because we're dealing with you get a you get you get all of that which is science fiction and horror and stuff like that and supernatural. But you mesh that with like real life society of black people dealing with in the racist time of America. And you get the surreal part of it and the realism. And then you get the science fiction and the, and the fake stuff that's going on with the with the magic and the multiverse. And you get all of that combined to make something so wonderful and great that I can't believe. Everybody should watch this show. Like if you if you if, even if you're not a big fan of science fiction and stuff like that, you should definitely watch this show because it touches on so much other stuff and so many different aspects that you would definitely find something that you like and love within this show because it's such a great show man um the premise and i'm gonna read it straight off of the thing um lovecraft country follows atticus freeman as he joins up with his friend Letitia and his uncle george to embark on a road trip across 1950s jim crow america in search of his missing father the, this begins a struggle to survive and overcome both the racist terrors of white America and the terrifying monsters that could be ripped from a Lovecraft paperback. And I may spoil some stuff. So if you haven't seen the episodes, you should definitely stop watching this right now. Go watch the show, come back, and then you can talk about it and enjoy it with me because I just love it and I found my new obsession, man. Um, So these are the main characters. We have Letitia, Atticus, Hippolyta, or Hippolyta, however you want to say it in the show, George Freeman, Ruby Baptiste, um, Christina Braithwaite, G.I., Diana Freeman, and Montrose Freeman, and we have some reoccurrings as well throughout the show with some guest people. Now, let's talk about our main cast for a moment. We start the show off with Atticus, a.k.a. Tick Freeman, and we see that he's in a war, and we jump straight into the we jump straight into the episode, uh, which is episode one, and we just get to see all of this greatness and stuff and all of this fantastic stuff that he's picturing, and we see that it's a dream because he's reading a book. Now, what um what I loved is that in this in this show, when you're reading a fantasy book for sure. Or even just like any old like love book or romance novel or anything like that, you get a vivid picture in your head. And granted, if they were ever to make it into a show or a movie, it's gonna deviate from what you picture. But that's the point of reading a book. You can picture something totally different from the next individual if you're reading a book. And we see him and and we see him reading his book and he falls asleep. And this is what he pictured like when he was back in the war. And it's crazy because that's pretty much the premise throughout the show is about books and like there's a lot of hints and stuff uh, um, combining with like, oh, this takes place in that kind of book. Like this could be considered like something straight out of this kind of book. So like it's nice to have the books incorporated into the actual story. And if you're a fan of science fiction, like you would definitely take hold to what they're trying to get across in this uh, in this show because you end up reading a lot of these books and you like, well, you have to build out the world in your mind like you can get like oh well they walked into this gray building with bricks and stone and marble and these beautiful wide pane windows so like you can see it and you have to paint the picture in your head for yourself but now somebody else can see the building and it ends up being a different type of building even though they have the details it just could look different for them in their perspective and that's fun and i love what the show is doing that with the books but all of these characters bring a lot of stuff to the show man and i love every single character because like when they're on screen they're doing their job now what i love the most is um 
Uncle George, which was played by um, Courtney B. Vance. And I feel like we lost Uncle George way too early, man. I feel like Uncle George, with Uncle George passing and dying, it ended up horrible, man. Like, because he was our gateway into, like, the books and everything with all of these situations that's taking place. Because once you're into a world and you enter into this whole world and you find out that magic and monsters and all this other type of stuff is real, you, okay, okay, now, you know, now, this is crazy, but now you need someone to kind of, I guess you can get, say, kind of explain it or show you what you're dealing with. And that's, we don't have that anymore. Like we have Atticus and his father, which is Montrose, but they were, they're not bringing it to us like Uncle George did when we were first introduced to all of this crazy stuff that started going on. And as the show progressed, um, they got a little better, but then like maybe like after the third episode, it kind of faded out with them. Like they still mentioned it here and there, but after that, it kind of faded out. And because rightly so, because they were focusing on so much more other stuff, man. We have time travel in this show as well. We have um the multi, the multiverse, the multi, multi, multi. We'll say multiverse. It has the multiverse, time travel, monsters, magic, horror, um, and it has racism in it. it. You would think that with all of that stuff going on, like you would think that like the story would fall flat somewhere. It doesn't. The step, the story, and the pacing, and everything, it holds true the entire series. And I'm waiting. I'm just patiently waiting for the season finale. And I'm just talking about the show because I felt like I wanted to talk about it with you guys because I just found it and I think it's amazing and glorious and fantastic. But um, it has all of that. And you would think that they would kind of compromise in certain things to push this out or get this there. And they don't. They handle everything with a nice, nice pace. And you get enough of this. You get enough of that. And they don't sacrifice anything. Everything is there. And you and you can see what's taking place with the characters, the story, and all of the magic, the, the horror. It, it gives you all of that. It doesn't sacrifice any of it. It doesn't just, okay, well, now we don't have any horror to deal with. We're just going to deal with this. No, you get the horror. You get the sacrifice. You even get the racism throughout the show. And, and because, you know, we're in that time and era. And what's so sad, man, is because um, Watchmen uh, showed uh, the same thing with the Tulsa uh, Massacre and um, and its TV show as well. It's, 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 it's so hardcore, man. That's another thing about this show. It incorporates history, like American history within the show. It even... Um, it incorporates so much stuff, man, like with the Tulsa Massacre that I, did, I didn't know anything about. So it's, it's giving you that real piece of American history that you that you if you didn't know anything about, you get an, you, you become informed and you're kind of seeing like, you know, America has a reason to hide this because they, did, they don't tell you about this stuff like they didn't teach you this in school. But after seeing this portrayal in this and in the Watchmen and reading up on some of the stuff that actually happened, like. This is you see why they want to cut it out. This is crazy, man. The stuff that actually happened. And um, but I love it because like we're getting all of this science fiction and like I said, like with the time travel, the the monsters, the magic, and all of that stuff, and we're getting the realism of dealing with um um America in that time when it was like super, super racist, and these characters just having to constantly deal with the berating of them of, of them being berated by these other people by these uh these white people in the in the show. But we get like real historical facts, like with the Tulsa massacre and Emmett Till. They threw Emmett Till in the show. Now that is something that I knew. I knew that for sure, but I I didn't know about the Tulsa massacre, man. I didn't know at all. But I loved it. Like they threw real stuff inside this in this show, man. Like while we're dealing with all of the stuff that's science fiction and fake, we're dealing with like the real part and then it's not just the racism it's like the stuff the actual events that happened and took place in American society like they showcased in this show and i feel like that's that's just great writing and and everything and the actors portrayals everything is perfect man and i feel like that that should be like high up on the showcase man even if you don't want to look at it because of the science fiction stuff look at it for like the historical facts and like um the realism behind everything that's taking place in this show, because it gets, it gets real and it gets dark, man. And, and, and I'm kind of going off on a different thing, but I'm just saying like, it's definitely worth a watch, man. 
and the characters, I feel like um, we have, uh, like I said, we have Atticus, who's just now coming back um, from working in Florida because he wants to find his father because his father wrote a letter. And that's how we get included in in heist and in trope and everything with the magic because he's looking for his father and he's these breadcrumbs and trails lead him to distant relatives that's a part of this huge magic order magic cycle place or whatever so that's how we get there and then we see all these characters and as the story progresses i don't want to give away too much i know i said it i done talked about a lot of stuff i done talked about um uncle 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 george dying and stuff but um as we get there we see that um like this is his history like this is a part of who he is granted because you know like his great 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 grandfather or whatever a great 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 grandfather you know took his grandmother and you know because she was a slave and you know he made a baby with her so that's real stuff too yet again but um that's how he he is in connected to all of this stuff now long story short they need Atticus to um use him to kind of tap into the Garden of Eden because Atticus is a direct descendant of one of the guys that founded this organization that they are a part of because of his the blood in his system is what's going to actually connect them. So it gets really good, man. Like, and the story is really, really driven. And there's comedy in there too, but it's not like intentional comedy. It's just like stuff that's being said and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, that's worth a chuckle. That's funny. Oh, I see what they did that we got to get. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Um, what else? Uh, there's a bunch of characters. You guys, I think you guys will love it. Um, what I end up loving the most is the story that these characters take place in because yeah, each, each episode is, is something different, but granted it's all connected, but each episode is dealing with something very different, but it showcases different things in each episode. Like, there's something to be learned in each and every episode. And what I find the most intriguing is because granted we're dealing with all of this, we get a backstory of Atticus in the war and the time he spent in the war. And that's where we meet um, G.I. And we see all the other type of stuff that's going on with him in the war, what he was dealing with, some supernatural stuff taking place at that moment. So there's a lot of greatness to be had. We get flashbacks of um, him in the war, there's a lot of greatness to be had in this show, and I am super excited for episode 10, which is the season finale, because I, it's going to definitely wrap up everything that we're dealing with right now and kind of hopefully tee off some things too, man. I mean, like, definitely jumpstart some stuff for season two. Um, I just wanted to talk about it because I enjoyed it. Um, I could go more in depth and I probably will for the, uh, season finale. I'll talk about episode 10 and I can break it down and go into it. If that's something you guys would like to see. Um, I just wanted to get it out there and talk about it because I enjoyed the show and I feel like you guys would definitely enjoy it. But yeah, man, overall, I enjoyed it. And like it get, in certain moments, it gets scary. It gets really like, not like, Ooh, uh, no, nothing like that. But like it, it, some jumps get you. Like you get a little chill down the tingling in the spine and the back of your neck and stuff. Like like there's some scenes that, that kind of get you a little bit. And um overall it's just a fun show. I mean, I enjoyed it and I just wanted to talk about it and share that with you guys. And if you watch this if you watch the series, comment down below, let me know and tell me what's your favorite part. What do you enjoy? Who's your favorite character? What what is what are you loving about the show? And I'm just excited to talk about it. And I hope you guys um let me know if you've seen the show, man. And if you haven't, and if me talking about it kind of enticed you a little bit, you should definitely check it out, man, because it's definitely worth the watch. Um, this is what incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. Peace out. I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at half speed I